The History of Meteorology The ancient Babylonians wrote that when a cloud grows dark in the heavens, a wind will blow. While they may not have known why this happened, they were making observations and linking them to events. In ancient India, references to the hydrologic cycle can be found in Vedic texts that are more than 3,000 years old. Wind, water, earth, and the sun were among many of the forces or natural entities that were worshipped as gods. King of these gods in India was Indra, the god of rain. In ancient China, rainbows were thought to be visible rain dragons. They kept a systematic meteorological record and even measured humidity by weighing charcoal after exposure to the atmosphere. Ever since the first humans gazed up at the sky, they wondered what it was all about and why certain things happened. As humans learned to cultivate crops, their lives depended upon the weather. Rain brought life, floods, and was critical to their survival. They would need to understand it in their terms. Gods made the most sense to the early peoples, and many cultures and religions had prayers or symbolic dances and ceremonies to bring rain. It is the Greeks that began speculating on why we experience weather and other natural phenomenon. From 600 B.C. to 1500 A.D., many Greek natural philosophers write about their observations and thoughts. In 340 B.C., Aristotle published Meteorologica, which contains his theories about earth sciences. It is from this that we get meteorology, which is the study of the earth's atmosphere and atmospheric phenomenon, as well as the atmosphere's interaction with the earth's surface, oceans, and life in general. Aristotle's ideas survive until the Renaissance. Science was alive in the Arab world in the year 1000, where according to Ibn al-Haytham, conclusions must be based on experiment and geometric proofs, not on past authority. He was the first to study optics and correctly explained the atmospheric refraction of light, dispersion of colors, and the apparent increase of size of the sun and the moon near the horizon. The dawn of scientific meteorology occurred during the Renaissance, when many scientific advances were being made. Galileo invents the thermometer, and his former student Torricelli invents the barometer. Robert Boyle develops his gas law, and Robert Hooke develops a standardized method for recording the history of the weather, and also invents the anemometer. Edmund Haley of Halley's Comet fame, publishes the first map of trade winds and monsoon winds. The Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature scales are developed, and Jacques Charles, in a hydrogen balloon, recorded the fall of temperature with height and the first measure of an atmospheric lapse rate. Modern meteorology can be said to begin around the 1800s. Luke Howard sketched and classified clouds, Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis mathematically defined the Coriolis effect, and Heinrich William Dove writes that mid-latitude storms were from the conflict of opposite currents, a polar current and an equatorial current. Our warm and cold fronts today that bring storms at mid-latitudes. Science was in full force and technological inventions were aiding scientists along the way. Systematic use of weather balloons begins, and Wilhelm Bjerknes applied hydrodynamics to the atmosphere, opening the door to numerical modeling. Radar becomes useful during World War II and is later used to detect precipitation. These advances, along with weather stations, satellites, and computers, help take meteorology into the 21st century and beyond.